The pipeline you see floating in the water is one end of an eight-mile conduit that will connect the city's wastewater recycling plant to Miramar Reservoir in North San Diego. Later this week, this part of the pipeline will be under 100 feet of water. We are re getting ready to install an approximately one-mile branch pipeline that will be put, built uh, above water and will be sunk in place to allow us to distribute the purified water evenly uh, within the uh, Miramar Reservoir. Though the pipeline is being built above ground, Elif Chetin says the work on it will continue once it's underwater. We have divers. Um, in any given dam, there will be five divers. A uh, majority of them will be installing, handling the coupling and installing process, and there will be a, pipe, a diver that is uh, doing the inspections for quality control. The cost of phase one of San Diego's pure water treatment project is about $1.5 billion. Phase one will be complete later this decade, and it'll produce 30 million additional gallons a day for the city. Richard Fernandez is a construction engineer who oversees the pipeline project. He says California regulations require recycled wastewater to go through a process called indirect potable reuse. That means treating the wastewater, then storing it in a reservoir and treating it again before it flows through your tap. So rather than doing a direct potable reuse, we're doing indirect potable reuse, which is just an added step for safety um, in case something does go wrong at any one of those steps. There is some discontinuity between them so that you can address that you know, safely and um, be a little bit more conservative with the approach. The city of San Diego isn't the only place in the county that's recycling wastewater. In 2022, four East County water agencies broke ground on a water purification plant. It'll produce about a third of those agencies' daily water supply. Oceanside has already begun supplying residents with purified recycled water, 3 million gallons a day. San Diego's recycling plant will be by far the biggest and the most productive locally. Fernandez says the city needs its own locally controlled water source. Living here, it's kind of the elephant in the room is there's really no water right locally available so this project provides a way for san diego to provide a safe reliable locally sourced drinking water something that we really have never been able to do san diego's pure water treatment system will be operational and providing water to residents by 2026 they say it'll be at full capacity providing nearly half the city's water needs by 2035. Thomas Fudge, KPBS News.